Refreshing Stories. Hello everyone! How are you? My name is Hiroshi. I used to live in Tokyo with my daughter Mia, but we recently moved to a certain village due to my work. It was a long trip, but it's a good opportunity for a fresh start. Oh wow, such a nice view from wherever. Look, there's a mountain! Mountain, river, mountain! <laughs> as far as the eye can see. Also, unlike Tokyo, the air is so clean. I longed for a slow life like this. So glad we came here. Huh? What's wrong, Mia? You don't look so happy. I'm not happy, to be honest, because there's literally nothing around here. I wanted to stay in Tokyo so badly. Hey, it is what it is. I couldn't just let you live alone there by yourself. You're still in high school. I'm pretty sure you'll get used to it here soon. <laughs> I'm definitely going to find a job in Tokyo after graduating high school and moving out of here ASAP. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Hey, watch where you're going! Where are your eyeballs? Be careful, you idiot! Jeez, move! Are you okay, Mia? Yeah. Wow, that guy is drinking from this early? Is this village even a safe place? I think so, but there are people like that everywhere. Let's just ignore those kinds of people. Hey, this looks like a historic bridge. Can I quickly take a picture with you in it now? Ugh, seriously? Why are you so carefree? <laughs> are they the outsiders that moved here today? I need to tell them to ignore everyone who lives in this village. Well, later is fine, I guess. It seems like this beautiful historic-looking bridge is called Takeo and has been built in the Edo period. But I never expected that this would lead to something terrible later on by a man named Kumozaki. Damn it. I lost a lot of money betting for a horse race today, too. Oh my god, what am I gonna do if I can't pay off my debt? I'll be dead me. Hello? Is anyone home? <laughs> what the hell do you want? How are you doing today? Apologies for the sudden visit. I work for the Private Legal Affairs Bureau, and I came here to inform you that the result of several examinations showed that the part of the Takio Bridge belongs to your property, Mr. Kumozaki. What? I'm so lost right now. Part of it belongs to me? What part of the property? Oh, right here. See it? It's only a few centimeters, though. I think it was a registration error during the Taisho era. Anyways, I have a favor to ask you. This bridge was built in the village, so could you offer the land to us? We want to make it a public road, so... What? Hey, since you just said it's my property, there's no way I'll give it to you for free. You need a price to pay. Of course we'll pay you. How about 100,000 yen? Sounds good? 100,000 yen? Deal. I'll sell it to you right now, so hurry up and give me the money. I'm so glad to hear that. I thought about what I should do if you said something like, I won't let anyone pass through because it's my land. Go somewhere else. You make me so nervous. <laughs> Seriously? Who do you think I am? Hmm? Wait a minute. Hold on. If I remember correctly, the Takio Bridge is the only bridge in this village that allows people to access the city. People pass through it every day, so if I use it to do that, <laughs> I'll be rich. <laughs> I take all of that back. This land is mine for the rest of my life, so go home. Bye. What? Why? But you just said that you will sell it though, Mr. Kumozaki? Being unaware that such a thing was happening, Mia and I went around the neighborhood to say hello. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Mia, and this is my dad, Hiroshi. We just moved here from Tokyo. Oh, hello. I'm Amatake. Oh, wow. Your house is full of bamboo materials. Those are beautiful bamboos and smell nice. You could get those in this village? Oh, um, yes. That's actually the only thing we have here. My goodness, he was so unfriendly. He didn't even make eye contact with me. <laughs> he was probably nervous and shy because you're cute. Wow, that girl from Tokyo, she was cute as hell. However, we didn't feel like we could fit in with the villagers. Not just Mr. Amatake. I think it's going to take a while. Even people at my new high school are keeping a distance from me, so I feel a bit lonely and sad. I don't know what to do. I understand. I hope that we can get along with everybody soon. Maybe we could start by inviting people over. The next day, I had to go to town for work. So just when I was about to cross the Takio Bridge by car... Hey, stop right there! You're on someone's property! How dare you! Oh crap! I was about to run you over! Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Kumozaki, who lives in that house. Yeah, right there. Your name was Ohira or something, right? An outsider who recently moved here from Tokyo with your daughter, who's a high school student. I heard a little bit about you. You, uh, divorced your wife because she cheated on you, huh? How pathetic. What? Wait, how on earth do you know about that? I only told my co-workers about it. Don't underestimate the information spreading power of a small village. Hey, if you're going to take this bridge, you need to pay me 10,000 yen right now. Hurry up, or I won't let you go through. It's the rule. I don't know what you're saying. 
Isn't this like an Edo era checkpoint? Anyways, isn't 10,000 yen quite a ripoff? Why do I suddenly need to pay for this? I was able to cross it normally until recently. It's been verified recently that a small part of this bridge is my property. If you don't believe me, look, here's the proof, right here. This is the land documents left behind yesterday by a person from the Legal Affairs Bureau. Uh, oh my, seriously? But you don't need to do something this insane though. Nay, nee, shut up! If you don't want to pay, then get the hell out of here! Since I didn't want to pay the 10,000 yen, I had no choice but to take a different route to leave town. However, I arrived late at an important meeting that day, causing inconvenience to the customer. Plus, I got yelled at by my boss. The damage caused by Kumozaki was not just to me, but to the other villagers as well. Everyone's in trouble, unable to go in or out of the village. The beautiful historic Takio Bridge is now like a spider's web hanging there, catching the prey and consuming money. I then called and gathered all of my neighbors to protest against Kumozaki, but... Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but there's no one here who could defeat him. If I talk back, I don't know what he's going to do to my child, so I'm tolerating it. That's the best thing to do. So, uh... Like that, everyone was afraid of him and didn't listen to me at all. Please, I have an appointment to go to in town, so I need to take this bridge! Mm, shut up, you freaking nerd! If you want to cross this bridge, then pay me 10,000 yen right now! Excuse me? Hey, I heard that. That was very rude. Huh? Oh, you. You're that douchebag hero, she's daughter. Hey, this isn't your business, so stay out of it. It is. I had enough of your bullcrap. Huh? What? Sorry, it's just that it's dangerous to talk back at him. Yeah, but if you don't speak up, he'll do whatever then. <laughs> then why does that mean you're still treating me like an outsider? Wow. What? Outsider? No, I'm not... Uh... Are you sure about that? Then do you think you could come over to my house now and talk about him? The villagers are not willing to cooperate with us, so I'll appreciate it if you do. Oh, wait! Hold on! Mia forcibly brought Amatake to our house. So thankfully, I was able to ask him about the situation between the villagers and Kumozaki. What? He's in debt right now? Seriously? Yes, he seems to be a serious gambling addict, and I think he started that business to pay off his debts. I sometimes see men in suits going to his house. He's always been a nuisance with his bad behavior, but I can't believe something like this happened. Can you tell me about his bad behavior? In detail? If you upset him or piss him off, he'll throw garbage in front of your house, make noises in the middle of the night, and if someone gets along with someone like you, a person who moved from another place, he'll spread bad rumors about you and make you the bad guy. I see. So that's why the people here didn't try to interact with me and Mia. Makes a lot of sense. Hmm, weird. He talks a lot when Dad is around. Oh, okay. So you're pretending to treat us like an outsider because you're afraid of Kumazaki, huh? Aren't you frustrated with his actions? Don't you want to fight back, no? Hey, Mia, watch your mouth. No, wait. She's right. We are all unsociable cowards who are afraid to fight back. Oh, a common villager thing, huh? Hey, Dad, how rude. Watch your mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, tough times bring chances. If we solve this problem, won't everyone in the village trust us and get along with us? That's what both of us want because we feel left out. A chance? What are you going to do? Hasn't it been proven that part of the bridge belongs to Kumazaki? I don't think we could do anything. Yeah, true that. Hmm. Let's think about some ideas. Huh? Wait, hold on. What's that sound? Oh, it's the sound of neighborhood kids walking on stilts. Those are made from the village's bamboo, and not to brag, but I made them. Where? Oh, wow! Those kids are very good on walking on those. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think I came up with an idea. Click, 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 ding! Yeah, I came up with a brilliant one. Huh? What was that click, click thing? Mr. Amatake, I also need you to defeat Kumozaki. Actually, you're the key person. Can you cooperate with us? Yeah, of course. What's the plan you came up with, though? At that time, Kumozaki was thinking of a new way to earn money. Good, good. The people here have started to pay the toll without complaining. <laughs> the problem is that more and more people are passing by late at night when I'm not watching. Okay then, you know what? If they have the nerve to do that, I'll take the plunge and do something too. Watch me! Then a few days later... Ta-da! I set up a toll gate exclusively for Takio Bridge. <laughs> Looks nice. 
it was worth it to borrow a million yen to make this. But I'm sure it won't take that long to get that money back. So I'm not worried at all. <laughs> oh, hey, look! A gullible person arrived. Let's see how it works. I'm excited. Good morning, Mr. Kumozaki. How are you? Oh, wow. You put a very nice toll gate here. I love this. Yeah, isn't it so nice? It only opens if 10,000 yen is paid into the machine. Because of this, I'm gonna be rich! Huh? What the hell are you doing now? What do you mean? Isn't it obvious by looking? I'm walking on stilts! Look, I'll see you later! Have a nice day! Bye! Hey you! Don't cross there without my permission! You better pay me right now! Uh, look closely. I'm crossing the river, not the bridge. Is there something wrong? The river isn't a part of your property, right? Well, that is true, but do you really think something stupid and absurd like that will work? Don't make me laugh, seriously! Yes, and it's not stupid. Okay, I'll just say this, but I've had enough of you. You know why? You extorted money from everybody here in such a reckless manner. Also, it seems like you've scared and threatened them, causing them to be in trouble. I won't let you get away with this. I'm sorry, but I'm not scared of you at all. I'll walk back and forth across this bridge on stilts as many times as I want. If you want to fight back, go ahead, try me. I'll always be ready for you. Hey, you idiot! There's no way you could cross on such cheap stilts! What? Mr. Amatake made this, and it's amazing! Look! So easy to walk on and control! This is one of a kind! I love it! Thank you very much, Mr. Ohira! It means a lot! Everyone, please cross the river on stilts too! Don't worry! It's free! I'll put all of them here, so if you want to cross now, please follow my dad. Wow, he did this to protect us from him? Hey everyone! Let's grab some stilts and cross too! Perhaps because I had yelled at Mr. Kumozaki, the villagers, who had been weak until now, grabbed the stilts and started crossing the river one after another. The river's flow was slow and shallow, allowing them to easily walk back and forth on stilts without any problems. I was so glad to see that. I'm amazed that everyone is good at walking on stilts! Yeah, that's because all of the adults living here played on stilts when they were young. Oh, I see. I never went on one, so I'll probably suck. Don't worry. Actually, my stilts are made so that even beginners can easily ride them. Uh, I can teach you, if you want. Really? Oh, um, thank you. In this way, the toll gate that Kumozaki had spent millions on became a waste of space, and I'm sure nobody feels sorry for him at all. What am I gonna do? If I don't get the money back, debt collectors are gonna come! Damn, it's, uh, it's all that scumbag Hiroshi's fault! Be on stilts for the rest of your life, you idiot! God! Um, hello, Mr. Kumosaki. Sorry for visiting you again. Can't you see that I'm in a terrible situation now? I'm not gonna sell you my land! Oh, about that. We did some research and found documents from the Edo period indicating that the Takio Bridge is owned by the village. Therefore, please remove the toll gate immediately, as it was installed without the village's permission. Thank you for your cooperation. I will come back again to check on that. What? If I do that, then my debt will increase it. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. In this way, Kumozaki was responsible for not only installing the toll booth, but also paying for its removal. It seemed that he had borrowed the debt from a very dangerous place this time. And I heard that the Yakuza who came to collect it took him away. No one knows what happened to him after that. The incident was easily resolved. But thanks to the stilt strategy, Mia and I were respected by everyone in the village. This is what we wanted, to get along with everybody here. Glad it became a reality. Thank you, Mr. Amatake. Without you, this wouldn't have been resolved. No, no, I didn't do anything. All I did was make the stilts. Oh my gosh, look, Dad. I got better at this because he taught me step by step. Thank you so much. Hmm, you're doing great, Mia. Huh? Hold on a minute. Is it just me? Or did these two become best friends all of a sudden? Hmm, weird. The bridge incident has luckily been resolved, but now it looks like I need to worry about something else. See you all next time. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. All right then, see you next time. Bye.